Okay, so more of a serious topic. We're talking about egg freezing. Should you do it? Now, if you find yourself single and in your 30s, um, there is an option to freeze your eggs, but the question is, should you do it and should you not? Um, and I'm gonna share my story because I wish that a lot more people talked about this um, openly when I was in my late 20s, early 30s. I still remember going to the doctors and taking a test that gives you, um, I think, an egg count. It doesn't tell you about quality, but it basically tells you um, how, much, how many eggs you have in your egg reserve. And the doctor um, came back to me for my results and she said, well, this is average. You have as many eggs as um, a woman would have around your age. And then she said, well, if you can have a baby now, I would do it. I wouldn't wait too long. And at that time, uh, the boyfriend that I was with wasn't ready for anything like that. I don't even think he was ready for a proper commitment. He later broke up with me, which is why I started 30 Ever After in the first place. Um, but let alone all these single women who are being told, yeah, you should probably have a baby now. Well, with who? Uh, and a lot of women are still going through this. And it's so nerve-wracking, especially when you hit your mid-30s to late-30s, if you really want that family, but you haven't found anyone to build that family with. So that said, if I were to do it all over again, I would absolutely freeze my eggs um, for these reasons. Number one is it's getting a lot cheaper um, to do. The technology makes it that uh, it makes it so that the approach has been proven, it's been tested. A lot of people have done it. Um, yeah, in, in Australia, it's actually not that expensive depending on where you go. The second reason why I'd consider egg freezing is it really takes the pressure off dating. And I've heard this from both sides. Women feel the pressure and so do men. Um, and a lot of guys, they really want to do, uh, especially in their 30s, they do want to date someone within their age bracket, but it's really hard. They're feeling pressure that when they date someone around the same age as them, they feel the need to make a decision on commitment right away because they don't want to waste this person's time. So as a woman, you feel like your time's ticking and as a man you feel like you have to time's ticking as well because you have to make a decision on a really great woman and maybe it's a decision you're not ready to make yet but um, yeah you're pressured under her timeline so freezing your eggs just kind of gets rid of that timeline because in freezing your eggs you're preserving your, your egg quality is better when you're younger you're preserving it so that later on if you do want to have a baby you could do IVF, you could get a surrogate. The options are just so much more open when you do it younger than later. Um, which brings me to my third point. So the second point was that there's less pressure in dating and the third point was, I mentioned it before, the quality of your eggs. As it's science, right? As you get older, your, the egg quality changes. You might have eggs that are, um, that have, that are lesser of quality than they were when you were younger. So yeah, a lot of, doctors recommend doing this earlier. So it's important that you're armed with this info so that you have these options so that going into your late 30s, you don't have to freak out over your egg quality. and You don't have to stress about not finding someone. I know so many people, who women who date and on the first first date off the bat, they're like telling their dates that I want to have a baby and I want to, I want to get married. And that's great because it puts you on the same page, but at the same time, it puts a lot of pressure on a guy. I think egg freezing just gives you a little bit more time back, um, more time to consider your options, more time to meet someone, fall in love, um, and more time to date without the pressure of having to rush these relationship timelines because you need to have a baby. And don't forget, I mean, if you really wanted to start a family, I think I don't, if you wanna be a mom, there's always a way to do it. There's always a way to be a mom. Um, you can be a mom to a uh, fur baby like we are. We've got Fudge, we've got a little baby Beagle. Uh, you can be a mom to um, a foster kid. You can be mom, a stepmom. You can be, uh, you can adopt. But if it's a biological child that you want and you want to build a family uh, with your own DNA, then egg freezing, you should really look into it. Especially if you're in Australia. I don't know how it works if you're in the US. I think obviously the the healthcare system is really different, so you want to look into that. But have a look; it's actually not that it's as not as expensive as it used to be. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like what you see, 
click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.